Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. In English, there are a lot of grammar rules. However, there are a myriad of exceptions. In this series, I'm going to talk about all those exceptions that other teachers don't talk about. So, let's take a look at what you don't know about adverbs. So stay tuned. Great. So let me tell you first that adverbs are a very important part of the English grammar. Why? Because they can modify whole sentences or even verbs or other adverbs or adjectives, obviously. So let's take a look at first what they are. They are words that modify, like I said, the meaning of verbs, adjectives, adverbs, or whole sentences. They're used to show time, and we have adverbs of time, like you know which ones, usually, yes, often, right, always, etc. They can show degree, so adverbs of degree, which are extremely, quite, just, too. They can show manner, so adverbs of manner, slowly, fast, quickly, softly, etc. They can show place, adverbs of place, there, here, nearby, above, south, west, etc. There are many lessons on my playlist uh, on adverbs. So if you wish to watch all those lessons, click here. So let's take a look at my examples then. He's extremely kind to her. So kind is, yes, an adjective. So extremely kind. It goes before the adjective in this case, right? He's extremely kind to her. So, another example. You wrote the email very quickly. So, quickly here is, yes, an adverb. And very is the adverb too. So, it modifies quickly, very quickly. Let's take a look at another example. Why don't you speak slowly? Why don't you speak slowly? So here we have slowly as the adverb. It modifies what? Yes, the verb, speak. So why don't you speak slowly? It goes after the verb. I'm just going to talk about that, the placement of adverbs in just one minute. So the next example. Amazingly, the driver survived the crash. So, amazingly, here, modifies the whole sentence. As promised, placement. So, where does an adjective go? Well, usually, and I'm saying here usually, before the main verb, right? After the verb to be, you know, the verb to be is very special, right? So, it goes after, usually. At the beginning of a sentence, so, if you want to modify the whole sentence, it would be at the beginning, like I said before, amazingly, the driver survived the crash, or even at the end of a sentence, like my example. Why don't you speak slowly? So, slowly here modifies the verb, speak, right? And it goes after the verb and at the end of the sentence. So, this depends according to the importance you want to give to the adverb. These are my examples. They usually play golf on Sundays. They usually play golf on Sundays. So, adverb of time, usually. They usually play golf on Sundays. So, usually modifying the verb play. And it goes before play. They are never late for class. Well, yes, we have the verb to be. And it goes after the verb to be. So, they are never. So, never is the adverb of time here. And it goes right after the verb to be. Another example. Mysteriously, 
he walked into the room. The adverb is here mysteriously, and it modifies the whole sentence, right? Mysteriously, he walked into the room. So it goes before the whole sentence. And then we have other examples like he came here. So here is the adverb of place, yes, and it goes right after the verb or at the end of the sentence. He came here or she went there. She went there. Adverb of place and it goes at the end of the sentence in this case. So I talked about how adverbs can modify the meaning of verbs, adjectives, other adverbs or whole sentences. But how are they made? Well, we need an adjective and we add ly to it. So, for example, elegant, elegantly. Happy, happily. Be careful there, we have a y, so the y turns into an i. So, happily. Like, lazy, lazily. And uh, we can say rare, rarely. There are many others, but usually we add ly at the end of adjectives. So now let's talk about intensifiers and mitigators. What are they? They are a subgroup of adverbs of degree and they modify adjectives or other adverbs. Just like my example. Her dress was wonderfully intricate. So intricate is the adjective and wonderfully is an intensifier. It, it intensifies the, uh, the adjective intricate. So wonderfully wonderfully intricate. Now let's take a look at a mitigator. He spoke fairly well. He spoke fairly well. So well is the yes, the adverb. So fairly is the mitigator. There is a trend in this period to create intensifiers in slang. So we, we can hear hella better. It's hella better than other things. For example, hella better. We have wicked stuff. I love wicked stuff. Wicked. Or super nice. He is super nice to us. He is super nice to us. Uber informative. So this lesson was uber informative. So these are all slang intensifiers. But if you wish to use them, you can. Nobody's going to say you're wrong. Now let's talk about flat adverbs. What are they? Well, um, I told you that an adverb is made by adding ly to an adjective. Flat adverbs do not change. So, for example, fast. He drove fast. We cannot say he drove fastly. He drove fast. So the adverb of the adjective fast is fast. But we have even tough. We can say slow. Slowly also is an adverb, but also slow. Straight. Far. Hardly. Down. Soon. Safe or safely. For example, I have some people for dinner and I tell them drive safe. We can even say drive safely, but we usually hear drive safe. Then we have tight. So, um, for example, a father to a son says sleep tight, not tightly, sleep tight, sleep well. This is what it means. And then we have friendly. So friendly and the adverb friendly. Beware though, we have only and hopefully. Let's take a look at them. You can only have 10 euros for the whole week. So for example, a father says that to a son or to a daughter, you can only have 10 euros for the whole week. Now, what about if I said you can have only 10 euros for the whole week? So if I said only 10 euros, for the whole week, that means that the stress is in the amount, right? 10 
euros only. The difference there is obvious. We place only before the amount, in this case, or before the adjective that we want to stress. Now, let's take a look at hopefully. We usually say, hopefully, it won't rain tomorrow. Hopefully, it won't rain tomorrow. It means, I hope it won't rain tomorrow. Or we can even say, it won't hopefully rain tomorrow. Yes, that's also possible. Great, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, or if you want to post your own example of an adverb, you may do so. If you want to share the lesson, you may do so. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.